Hi there, everyone. My name is Nama Barshai from Bimkomo. Give your space what you need. A bunch of fun tips on home organizing and interior decorating. And today, I want to talk to you about organizing kids' puzzles. You know, many times we come to the playroom and we see all the puzzles on the floor with pieces flying all over the place and we don't know how to start organizing things. Well, in this video, I'm going to give you two easy tips to help you organize your kids' puzzles quickly and efficiently. Let's get started. Tip number one is about the boxes that we have for the puzzles. Think about the different size boxes you get. Many times they tear. It's very difficult to put them on a shelf in an organized way because each box is a different size. So I'm going to show you a very simple tip to get the puzzles into a smaller container and in a way that you can pile them one on top of the other without having a mess, without having boxes tear, without having pieces come out. What I did was I bought a few plastic containers with covers and I put each puzzle into a different container. This way you can see through that the container has a puzzle in it and in a minute I'll show you how I made sure that the kids know which puzzle is in which container. You probably know, and if not, I'm telling you now, that most puzzle boxes have two versions of the puzzle picture on them. They have a big version, and they also have a smaller version. I cut up the small version of the picture, and I tape it to the cover. This way, my kids are able to come see the picture that they need to do, and know which puzzle is in the container. If the pictures on the box are too big to tape onto my container, I put the puzzles into a Ziploc bag and add the picture into the bag. The Ziploc bag solution is also good for puzzles that have big pieces and they won't fit into a small container. The second tip I want to give you today is about the puzzle mess that happens. All the pieces are scattered on the floor and you have no idea which puzzle each piece belongs to. Well, I know exactly which piece belongs to which puzzle. And how do I know that? The simple tip that I want to tell you about today is to write on the back of the puzzle which puzzle it belongs to. Choose a simple name that will remind you which puzzle the piece belongs to and you'll be able to turn over the piece and to see exactly where it belongs. You only have to do this once and after you have the name of the puzzle on the back of the piece it's so easy to put it away. And this way, you can also make sure that you don't have puzzles that are missing pieces. Every time you'll find a piece, you'll be able to know exactly where it belongs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to read your replies down below and hear from you how you manage to organize puzzles or any other toys in the kids playroom. If you like this video you're welcome to share it. You can subscribe so that you'll get notice of any new videos that I put out. In the description below you'll be able to see links to all the other places where I give tips and other content about home organizing and interior decorating. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye!